Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Anexion channel. This is a little video I decided to put together for our Macintosh users who happen to have Office 365 and who have the SharePoint uh, document libraries out there on Office 365. <clears throat> As you probably already know, most of the SharePoint synchronization functions in the document library are designed for Windows machines. However, there's a nifty little utility that's available on a Mac for free. It comes as part of the Office download for Mac that allows um, some of the same functionality you get on the Windows machine with regards to SharePoint and the document libraries. So I'm going to log into my Office 365 account here just using a test account that I've set up here. And... <clears throat> As, as usual, I've got the SkyDrive, um, the SkyDrive Pro, and it's real important to notice that uh, to note that this SkyDrive uh, you get up here is not the SkyDrive free service that Microsoft provided as part of the live. This is actually SkyDrive Pro. So if you ever download an app for your Android or your iPhone to uh, integrate here with Office 365, make sure you download the SkyDrive Pro app, not SkyDrive app. SkyDrive by itself is a different service that Microsoft created, a free SkyDrive service with limited storage that was available for Xbox and Windows Live users. But that's a little different than what we're looking at here. So anytime I'm in my SkyDrive or on the team site in a document library, I've got these sync buttons. But these are only designed to work with Windows machines, so they do absolutely nothing on a Mac. They, uh, they were originally designed to sync everything in your SkyDrive or your document library to your My Documents folder on your Windows machine. However, there's a real nifty little utility, like if I go to the, scene, the team sites here, you'll see, uh, I'll go to the team site, and we've got several document libraries set up here on our team site. Yours may look a little different than this, but we've got product guides and brochure data sheets, and again, if I click on one of those document libraries, I get that sync button over here, which of course does nothing on a Macintosh. So, if you've installed Office 2011 for Mac, there's a free utility that comes with that, and you just use your little search your, uh, search um, uh, spotlight function up here and just search for document connection. Just start typing it, and it'll come up with this Microsoft document connection. That's the free utility I was telling you about, and it's real handy for quickly accessing SharePoint document libraries on a Mac. And basically, it's pretty simple. The way you do it, I'll start with my SkyDrive Pro. Um, what we want to do is, there's the, the quickest and easiest way to do this is you want to add this URL to the uh, document uh, connection uh, uh, application here. And I recommend you save it in your dock down here so that you don't have to go searching for it every time. That way it's just on my dock and I can open it up quickly. So I'm going to say add location. And again, we're not going to use the SkyDrive one here because that's the freebie SkyDrive that's not part of 365. So we're going to connect to a SharePoint site, and it's going to ask us for the URL. The best way to do this is when you're in your SkyDrive Pro here, click on Library, <clears throat> click on Library Settings, and copy this actual URL that shows up right here. If you copy that URL, that's the safest, quickest, easiest URL. We'll copy that, and then we will paste that here into the, um, into the URL it's asking for, and we'll hit Connect. Now, it may ask you to log in. Again, that's fine to your Office 365. So I will go ahead and log in using that same account that I just logged into a moment ago. And if you check mark the box here, it won't ask you every time. It'll just log in automatically. Now, I'm not going to check mark the box here because this is a demo, but you would check mark that box so it doesn't make you log in every time you do this. And what it's going to do is it's going to add my SkyDrive Pro to right underneath the SharePoint thing here so I can get to it very quickly. And you'll see that appear here in a moment. There it is. And then from there, I can double click this document and rename it SkyDrive Pro. And then I've got my SkyDrive Pro. I also want to do the same thing with my team site. So I'll click on my team site. I'll go to, and you can do this for each of the document libraries you have in there if you have more than one. I'll start with my brochure data sheets library. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to basically go to library, library settings, 
and I'm going to grab this URL right up here, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to say, add a new location, SharePoint site, and I'm going to paste that URL in and connect. And once again, it may or may not have you log in, and it didn't that time for me. And in a moment, you'll see that I will have my brochure library here. <clears throat> and there it is and all the documents that are inside there. And then I'll do one more. I also have a product guides document library. And I'll go through the exact same steps, library, library settings, and highlight and copy this URL, the web address, and then come back over here to my document connection and say add a new location, and paste that in there, connect. And now I have a very quick and easy way to get to my document libraries from right here uh, using this document connection tool. It's quick and it's easy. I don't have to go log into the Office 365 every time. So literally I can now quit this. I can quit Safari. I can log out of everything. And I can get to those document libraries quickly just by simply clicking and opening the Microsoft Office document connection. Now it's going to make me log in because I didn't save it, but it won't do that to you. And once I log in, I've got access to all my stuff very quickly and easily. There's all my documents. I can open them. I can do what I want to do. I can check them out. I can create new files. I can, uh, you know, search for files if there's a lot of them. So real handy little utility called the Document Connection. Hope this helps out our Macintosh users. I'm also a Macintosh user myself at the house, so uh, I love Macs, and, uh, and this kind of helps uh, overcome some of the limitations with the straight uh, SharePoint uh, capabilities that are designed for Windows machines. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and thanks for being our customer.